Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is offered for Reverend Martin P. Connor. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled at first to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, loath to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, Have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it would wither. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, 
Have you, been, have you reason to be angry over the plant? I have reason to be angry, Jonah answered, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned over the plant, which cost you no labor, and which you did not raise. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot distinguish their right hand from their left, not to mention many cattle? The word of the Lord. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. All the nations have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You are alone, our God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that God has a plan and we know that our plans that we have in this life are probably different than the plans that he has set out for us 
And that can upset us at times, make us frustrated, right? And we ask God, why? And we hear this in the first reading today uh, this, uh, from Jonah, the prophet Jonah, who's, who's confused and upset by God's plan. It's natural that this would hap happen to us. We don't understand his, his plan. We don't know why terrible things happen on this earth, why that's allowed. At the same time, in the gospel, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. So why do they ask Jesus this question? They do so because they want a connection with God. They want to understand. They want to be confident. They want to be more loving, more understanding, more aware of God's plan for them. That's why they asked, the disciples asked Jesus how they should pray. Jonah is learning about God's plan, but he's, he's stuck in this moment of time. We should remember that God is merciful and gracious. When we face situations, terrible situations in our lives, God's mercy is there. It's present. His graciousness is there in those moments. And it will be hard for us to understand, of course, because the world is stuck in darkness. The ways of the world, they think that they're better for us. They think that we think that we see better than God does, that we know better than God does. And of course we do not. The world tells us that these worldly ways are the best ways they will give us instant gratification. But God, for God's way, we're on a journey, a journey through our entire lives. The journey will include suffering. Suffering will happen in our lives. Myself, being deaf, that is part of my challenge and part of my journey through my life. I see still God's mercy, his graciousness. I see it every day in my life, and I pray. This is the foundation of our faith. Today, the church celebrates a famous saint, John the 23rd, St. John the 23rd, who helped the church to persevere through challenging times. He established a Second Vatican Council, and he revised uh, the Code of uh, Canon Law. He went through it, made revisions, and, and added greatly to it. And we use this today, and it's still going very strong, a way that we can see God's plan, St. Pope John the Twenty Third. He followed God's will, God's plan for him. And all the saints, all the disciples follow God's plan, even if they don't understand what that plan is. And we are called to do the same. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, for the Church, that she may adopt listening and dialogue as a lifestyle at every level, and allow herself to be guided by the Holy Spirit towards the peripheries of the world. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, he is a voice of wisdom as he participates in the upcoming Synod of Synodality. We pray to the Lord. For homeless veterans, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. 
for the repose of the souls of the faithfully departed. We pray to the Lord. We remember Reverend Martin P. Connor, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. For all the wars that are happening throughout the world in the Ukraine and Russia in Israel and Palestine for all these conflicts we pray for world peace we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer Father we thank you for hearing our prayers and answering them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth, of blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You 
You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Carlos Sean our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him.
Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I apologize for the noise this morning. Uh, yeah, I told them that we had mass at 9 a.m., but they still went ahead and they're, they're fixing the roof. There's a leak in the roof. And so they're fixing the roof and the gutter today um, to get ready for the winter. Uh, so that's a good thing. Just sorry that it was during your mass this morning. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Novena prayer to St. Jude. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayer, let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most difficult cases. O oh, come to my aid that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. St. Jude, help of those in difficulties, aid me in my distress. Pray for us that we before death may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered our beloved master into the hands of his enemies, has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult cases. Pray for me, make use, I implore you, of the particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where there is almost despair. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and aid of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Saint Jude Thaddeus, pray for us, and for all who invoke your aid. Amen. 